Can you relate? We can. We got the latchet lock on a Black Friday sale on Amazon. This is one of those features since we got our trailer that we've been talking about doing and we finally pulled the trigger and purchased one. It only took us two or three months after we got it in the mail to get around to installing it. Um, I'm pretty excited about having this, especially hearing all the things we hear about that RVs all have the same key. This gives us a little extra security. She says it's gonna be an easy install. Let's find out. All right, let's get to it. In the box, you will find the lock, striker plates, a gasket for the outside of the door, batteries, two key fobs, and a cute little pin screwdriver. But today, we'll be using power tools. The lock gets shipped in two parts, the inside and the outside, so we need to separate out the two pieces so we can begin the installation. Also, it's good to see how the two pieces fit together. Next, we're going to take this plate off and check the sizing of the hole. You'll notice these are not your standard screws, but a Phillips screwdriver bit should be just fine. Just take it slow. That came off a little easier than I thought. Ta-da! Alright, the moment of truth. You need to pull this little latch here to bring this in to help it go in easier. So set it in here, get it as far as it can go. Finesse it on in. Make sure the cables get in there. Cable. That's the antenna, and that connects to the other. All right. Let's take a look on this side. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty darn good. Now that we know it fits our hole, we'll go ahead and put this little gasket on there. Help make a better seal, actually keep some of the weather out, make it look prettier. Now we put this back in. Just check and make sure we got all the wires, we got the antenna, we got the connection. All right, I think we're ready for the next piece. So the next thing we need to do is connect the inside plate to the outside plate with the, the cable. In, there we go. Recommend not drilling, not screwing the screws in all the way until you get all of them in. So that way you have some flexibility to play with. Not bad. All right, that's how it's supposed to work. Make sure these screws are tightened in. Okay, there we go. That's pretty sturdy. All right, next up, the plate covering on the door. Make it look nice and clean. I think I got the right screws. Next step is install the batteries. There's the cover on the inside that goes like that. Two screws right there, already taking them off. Pop it out. I would suggest doing the inside first for stability since there aren't a lot of uh, battery guide rails like you would normally find in one of these compartments. You hear it beeping, that's a good sound. There. 
think that just about does it. One, two, three, four. Unlock. Very nice. One, two, three, four. Lock. All right, that's good. Now to go read the manual to figure out how to program this thing. To program a new code, you hold down eight and you hit the lock key. Hit the key, enter the old code, which is one, two, three, four, lock. It didn't activate, so now we enter the new code. And I'm gonna use Leanne and Mai's anniversary, which is eight, 22, 24, 24, seven. So eight, 24, seven, lock. It did it. This lock comes with two key fobs. We don't have those programmed yet, so I have it set to off. If you want the key fobs to be able to work and for the wireless capabilities of this lock to function, you need to have this set to on. We'll keep it on off probably most of the time to try to save on battery. But it looks and functions just like the old one on the inside, just slightly bigger. And uh, if you forget your code, you have a little reset hole here you can set and reset it for, you know, hold it down for five seconds. There are three ways to get into this lock. You have the traditional key, you have the keypad, and you also have the key fobs. So even though this is locked, the deadbolt's locked. The keypad only operates the deadbolt. You can still lock the handle the traditional way for a little bit of extra security. Can't wait to go on our next adventure so we can see how well this works out. I've been tired of keeping up and playing key tag with uh, Leanne, so this should, be, this should be a better experience. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. We enjoy reading your comments and hearing about your own AFK days. See you next time. What should you finally do in there? Reading the instructions. <laughs>